Hello audience! Welcome back to another episode of The Book Reviewer with your host Cindy and another review to share. So, um, this one is Teach Yourself Visually, Office 2013. I know the glare is really bad, guys. Uh, the, the fast and easy way to learn. And this is by Elaine Marmel. So this is 431 pages with the index and without it's about 419 pages. You don't typically read the index um, unless, you know, you want to, then <laughs> it's all yours. Um, so this is a reference book. I did another reference book review before for Windows 10 for dummies. I'll put a link in the cards so you can go check that out. Um, this book ha is full of information. This book is divided into eight parts. Um, this goes over a lot of the office um, programs. So the first part is office features, the basics, working with files, creating new files, opening files, things like that. And if you guys have had previous versions of Microsoft Office, then you'll know what I mean. But this is for um, Microsoft Office 2013. This is, I think, I think they put out a a new version every year or every two to three years I don't know um, but I think the latest one they have is 2016 which is a little bit newer than this one but the second part of the book is mostly focused on Microsoft Word and as you guys know we use Office Word for just about everything we do. Um, we create letters, we create flyers, we create, you know, whatever. We create word strips. <laughs> we create lots and lots of stuff with Microsoft Word. This picture was made in Microsoft Word using Word Art, which is fun. Um, the, the whole segment on Word is changing views to read and review things, inserting videos, inserting tables, um, and a lot of that. So the third part is Excel, formatting, splitting and formatting columns of data. A lot of that is in there to show you how to do those things. Part 4 is PowerPoints. You work with slides, you work with presentations, presentation views, all of that stuff is there. And Part 5 is Microsoft Access. This is a business kind of program if you have a small business for clients, consulting, things like that because it has a lot of info you can input and put into a database. Um, part six is Outlook. Most of you guys use Microsoft Outlook to compile your mail, your email. And some people just like it for any number of reasons. Um, it doesn't really matter why you like it. If you use it, then it's there. Part 7 is Microsoft Publisher. Now this is a program where you can aesthetically figure out how your flyer, your cards, your announcement paper that you have on the bulletin board or um, Maybe it's a city-wide bulletin that you're trying to create. How they will look. 
This is also good for um, any magazines or poems you're trying to plan out visually. Um, and then the last part is for OneNote. OneNote is a... I want to say it's new, but I'm not sure if it is. It's only been... Oh, probably within the last year that I have heard of OneNote. I've heard of Evernote. I've heard of Google Keep, which is a great app. Um, but OneNote is not very familiar to me. My husband started using it for things that he's typing up. Um, but I'm not sure how useful it would be for regular type notes or, you know, reminders or lists of what you want to do. So this book is for people that learn very, very visually. They have to actually see it being done, like the steps to take. It's similar to the computer instructions that you get for hooking up the computer. Sometimes there will be visuals to tell you, okay, which port does this wire go into, or where do the headphones go, or whatever it is. So, um, this is very, very visual, very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Um, it has the little strip of color at the top to show you the chapter and what they're doing on the page to give you instructions for it. Um, you're not going to get bored leafing through this reference book. Um, I really like it. Um, some, Regardless of whether you learn visually or not, it's a great help because Sometimes you have to have somebody right there with you to guide you into saving a file, saving a PowerPoint presentation, something like that. In this book, the Teach Yourself Visually book, is a great thing to have. So, this is a good book. Very handy for reference. I don't know if it's on Kindle or not. I'll leave a link or a card indicating if it is or isn't. I got mine at the... I found mine at the, lo at the local library. Um, you could probably find it on eBay. Um, your local bookstore, <laughs> if you can find one. Nowadays, I think Barnes & Noble is still in business as of this recording or this upload. Um, so, yeah, check it out. Um, but there is always going to be probably a new version of Office. So, this 2013 may be a little bit outdated. But if you're comfortable using the software as is and you don't want to upgrade, which actually is my case, um, then you probably do want to have it on hand if you need it. Um, excuse me, thank you. Okay, that is the book review I have for you today. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you next year on Tuesday. Does that sound odd to you? I thought so. Happy New Year, everyone! Bye!